Hey everyone, so I doubt it's escaped anyone's notice, but Eric Carl Oscar Thor is obviously mistyped. Yes, there is no doubt Eric Thor cannot be an INFJ. But what type is he really? Now, let's talk about the INFJ mystery. What type is Eric Thor really? So, We've had several type polices and type detectives on this case. Several people have done their best to really understand Eric Thor. And today we are going to break down what type Eric Thor is once and for all. Yes. We're gonna unmask the fraud. We're gonna get him off his high horse. We're gonna show everybody that he is mistyped. Now, the most obvious explanation really is that Eric Thor is a sensor. I mean his intelligence, it cannot be higher than 50. He is so simplistic. He spent more than 10 years studying personality psychology and he is still unable to grasp the basic tenets of our Lord and Savior Carl Jung. Now the question is which sensor he could be. Yeah, of course we have the ESTP as an option. He could just be mistyped as his opposite. He might just be an ESTP pretending to be an INFJ. He might be doing this intentionally. He could be a fraud. He could be banking on the INFJ name in order to get fame. The way I see it, there are many arguments for, I for Eric Thor being the most stupid yet the most brilliant mastermind. Somehow able to both completely misunderstand the work of the MBTI and of Carl Jung, and at the same time deviously misinterpreting it in order to run his own agenda. There are other options though. For example, many people believe that Eric Thor is an ESFJ. Yeah, ultimately anything he says and does can be explained as pure charm and diplomacy. He just knows how to make everyone like him, but he doesn't actually have any actual content. None of his theories are actual theories. They're just cake frosting. Tastes nice, it's nice to hear, but there is no real value to what he says. A lot of people disagree with this, however, and a lot of people argue that Eric Dorr must be an INTP personality type. I mean, if you look at his works, it's so sharp, it's so abstract, it's so theoretical. He has managed to single-handedly build his own system to type people. Many of his theories, many of his ideas, they're quite aloof and quite far out there. What he says about body language, what he says about flow, what he says about neuroscience and his work in connecting the MBTI and personality psychology to classic science is short of impressive. Yeah, honestly, he's a brilliant guy. He's just wrong. And so a lot of people would say INTP is the only likely type for Eric Dorr. But of course, there is another group. A large group of people in the MBTI would say that Eric Dorr must be an extrovert intuitive. I mean, he talks fast in his videos. And he seems to be quite crazy. Uh, honestly, how does he talk so fast? Is he always like this? Is he always this hyper? Is he always that enthusiastic? He has so much energy. Whenever he talks, his eyes, they're quite big. Actually, people with big eyes, they're usually extroverted intuitives. And honestly, a person that says so many things and has made so many videos and has driven a drug into so much different content must be an extroverted intuitive. There is no other explanation. The question is, is he an ENFP or an ENTP? Well, here people disagree. A lot of people would rather argue that Eric Thor is an ESFP. Yeah, not an extroverted intuitive at all, but once again, a sensor, an ESFP. Yeah, he's like this funny, playful guy that just uh, likes random stuff and just uh, talks about things, but he doesn't really put a lot of uh, thought into what he does. He just speaks. He doesn't think at all. He never scripts his videos. And he just goes out on improvisation. And a person who does that must be an ESFP. And stronger yet, so attention seeking, constantly getting attention to himself, constantly making videos about himself, 
constantly talking and being so in his in your face with his content and his work. Who does that? Yeah, there is no other explanation. He must be in an ESFP. Still, of course, there is a group of people who would say that Eric Dore is actually not an ESFP, but an INTJ. Yeah, INTJ, that's quite interesting, actually. Looking at what he says and what he does, it's hard to pick up on his uh, feeling side. He doesn't come off as very warm or very affectionate. He doesn't seem to be a person who always tries to just get along with everybody. He seems to be quite sharp. He seems to be quite aggressive about what he thinks. He's come at different YouTubers several times. He's made videos uh, questioning different people in the typology world. He has uh, been an active opponent of various cults and manipulative groups, social engineers and people like Podler and other groups. And a person who is so aggressive and so likely to fight for a message and to work towards something like that must be an INTJ. Anyways, the one thing that's certain is Eric Thor cannot be an INFJ. Those who watch his videos and obviously how he is on his videos is a 100% accurate reflection about who he is as a person. Know that this is not INFJ energy. No INFJ would be like this. No INFJ would do this. He must be a fraud. The question is, is he doing it on purpose or is he just stupid? The way I see it, a lot of people have doubts about my personnel type and today I'm going to explain why that is. First of all, I am not who I am on video in real life. Those who know me in real life know me to be quite an introspective and sensitive person. I will often just listen and observe another person's energy. I like to just see what other people are doing and to mediate and to guide them through different things. I take a more introverted position to together with friends and in group settings. I like to let other people lead and steer the conversation while I pick at what they say and do and come up with ideas and feedback so that they can move on. My energy, how I talk, is a lot more slow paced, a lot more careful and calibrated. Most of the things I do are quite self-controlled. Self-control is one of the most real things about me. And here's the thing. I have a really, really vivid imagination. The thing is, whenever I make a video about a personality type, I step into the energy of that type. I naturally absorb other people's energy and emotions, and I direct it right away back at them. That means when I make videos about INFPs, I take on the energy of an INFP. That means when I make videos about ENFPs, I take on the energy of the ENFP. I do this in all videos, and that's why I think so many people type me so differently. People who watch my ENTP videos assume I must be an ENTP. People that watch my INFP videos assume I must be an INFP. The we my ability to step into other people and to take on their words and feelings and thought process is quite crucial to my ability to understand other people. Uh, I want to truly get how other people work and how other people think. And when I go into that and when I try to understand these things, I do it by stepping into and embodying their personality and thinking like they do and speaking like they do. I absorb the mannerisms, the body language and so many things about what they say and do. The other question is, how do we overcome bias? Obviously, not everyone is going to like what I say and not everyone is going to agree with it. But just because you disagree with someone doesn't mean that they're mistyped. A lot of time, it's our own bias that causes us to mistype other people. It's not that they are mistyped, it's that we, by having bias, by disliking somebody or by struggling with something, end up applying that bias and our view of that person becomes twisted. How do we get to see people accurately? Well, we have to listen to them. We have to ask them questions. We have to hear them out. And so, if you think I'm mistyped, why not send me a message? And why not have a conversation? I'd be happy to talk more about it and I'd be happy to show you where you went wrong. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a nice weekend.